is um, is terrified of losing, uh, you know, the dollar as a reserve currency, um, the petrodollar, and so forth. But but you know, the U.S. doesn't want democracy in the Middle East. That's why it deals with the the psychotic sheikhs of the Gulf states, um, the the bin Salman in Saudi Arabia. They would much rather have those kinds of regimes as allies than, um, than Iran, which is a functioning democracy. Uh, that's, the, the democracy has never been um, something the United States sought in its foreign policy. The sanctions are, <clears throat> are just criminal. And, and of course, as, as Jan Oberg mentioned, they, they hurt the civilians. They hurt um, the most vulnerable people in the states that are sanctioned. Uh, but the U.S. doesn't care much about that either. Uh, this is part of Biden's trips to the Middle East. Um, upcoming are to form an anti-Iranian alliance, pretty much. Uh, and that has to do with the proxy war uh, going on in Ukraine and Russia, which hasn't gone the way the U.S. imagined it would. Uh, so now they're kind of turning to uh, uh, Iran. Meanwhile, Israel continues to assassinate scientists in broad daylight barely hiding the fact that it's it's Mossad carrying out these attacks uh, but they are they are you know protected by the US they have uh, impunity in whatever they do and, and the US okays whatever they do anyway